Hi, welcome to Rock and Metal Invasion. My name is Steve. Actually, this is AI Steve, as I've got sick and lost my voice a little. But I wanted to do a show, so in order to get the show done, I decided to use my artificial voice. I've used AI in my channel before. Artificial Gene Simmons did a voiceover, and I created a picture of the four living rock stars I would invite to a dinner party using AI. Anyway, today's show is called New Vinyl Has Got Too Expensive. I'm looking at you, Judas Priest. The new Judas Priest album has been released, and excuse the pun, it's a ripper. Or should I say ripoff? Don't get me wrong, this album has some of their best songs ever. Panic Attack. What a great song to open up the album, and there are plenty more great tracks like that on the album. But that's not the point, and I'm not here to do an album review. The voice will now change as my cloned voice has a limited number of characters, and they have now all been used up. Just like I don't want to spend almost $100 on the new Judas Priest album, I also don't want to spend money just to use my own cloned AI voice. So this voice will have to do. Anyway, back to what I was saying. If I want to buy the album on vinyl, the cheapest price I can find here in New Zealand is $84.99. You add shipping and the album is close to $100. And that's just for the standard double vinyl version. There are many different variants and even a deluxe version, which now seems to be very hard to find, and there are even people already flipping it on eBay. I remember I was 14 years old when I first started buying hard rock and metal on vinyl. It wasn't easy and I had to be very selective, but with my after-school job, I was able to buy a new release from time to time. I have no idea how today's 14-year-old can afford a new release on vinyl. Maybe 14-year-olds aren't Judas Priest's target market, and maybe that's part of the problem. The target market is probably guys like me. Guys in their 40s, 50s, or 60s who enjoy collecting music and can afford to pay for it. Just because I can afford it doesn't mean I want to pay almost $100 for a new album. But if people keep buying, they will keep selling it. In fact, they will probably keep putting up the price. That's what has been happening. They put the price up and then they see people still buying the album so they put it up again. Mick Mars released his new album on vinyl last week. In the same shop where the Judas Priest albums is $85 you can buy the new Mick Mars for $59.99. Yes it's a single vinyl but $25 for an extra vinyl? The standard version of the Judas Priest album is only 52 minutes long. It doesn't actually have to be a double vinyl. Yes, I know people say sound quality is not so good when a side is longer than 20 minutes. But I've never really noticed that and for the money saving I'd prefer it on one vinyl, not two. Why not give people the choice? You want the two LP you pay a little more or just get it all on one LP for a cheaper price. Even the deluxe edition of Invisible Shield could potentially all have been put on one LP. The total length of the deluxe version is nearly 64 minutes. Def Leppard Hysteria and Duck and Back for the Attack albums that were initially released as single vinyls back in the day are 62 minutes long. They could definitely have added the bonus track to the double vinyl version. They didn't need to be added to a 7-inch vinyl. I've never liked the idea of a deluxe version of an album when it is first released. It's basically saying if you can afford it you can have some extra songs and they justify the price by putting it on separate media even though it could still have fitted on the double vinyl. I know people like the gatefold covers and 180 gram vinyls but really isn't it mainly about the music and perhaps the extra bells and whistles are used as an excuse to up the price. I still enjoy buying vinyl but it's mainly only second-hand vinyl these days. I could go back to buying CDs but I find I don't play CDs a lot and play vinyl a lot more. If you brought the new Judas Priest album, I think it's great you are supporting the band and if you pre-ordered it. I hope you got it before people like me were streaming it. If you pre-order the album, shouldn't one reward be that you get to hear it before people online? Sometimes pre-orders don't arrive until well after it has been released online. Anyway, that's a different rant for a different time. Thanks for listening. 
please like and subscribe and if you want leave a comment. The Real Steve should be back for the next episode. Bye for now.